without further ado, we're back for some more Nier. I have done quite a bit off stream on this. Uh, I have no incomplete quests right now. I cleared them all, uh, including a large handful of them in facade that was very annoying to do uh, because it is annoying to get around facade. Yeah. Um, I did this because Dracodai warned me that I was about to hit a point of no return. So I cleared everything that I could, that I could find, including one that was a kick to the gut. Um, I posted about it on the discord, but that lighthouse lady, that grouchy lighthouse lady, she really wanted to go see her husband and the postman wouldn't let her because she's the only one who knows how to operate the lighthouse. You come to find out that they found out her her husband or significant other, I think is her husband, died years ago and they never told her. As a result, they have been impersonating him in letters to her for years to kind of just keep her happy and not have to deliver that blow to her. So it's pissing her off that they won't let her go and they are using the lighthouse as an excuse to not let her leave. Um, so, like, in the end, she dies. And you have to tell the postman, like, yeah, I told her. It, like, he pleads with you not to do it. I told her. And um, it was one of those things that's like, yeah, no wonder you're so grouchy. Like, it makes complete sense now. She wasn't just a jerk for the sake of being a jerk. Like, she had a legitimate grievance. I've noticed the game is doing this on first load sometimes. Like, it takes a moment to get it, like, ramped up to speed. Like, if I shoot, see how slow it is right now? But if you give it a minute, just running around, all of a sudden it'll be like, Oh, okay, back to normal speed now. start no it's still pretty slow right now it should be fine once i leave the town there's like some weird internal game speed setting that's like always off on first load now it's fast so uh just to recap where we're at to remind people of where we're going uh the town went to sleep and everybody had a dream about going to the forest of myth uh, to get a sealed verse. Now, obviously, this quest is for me because I have Weiss. Um, but it wasn't just me that had that dream. Yona had that dream, and someone else gave a letter to Popola talking about dreams. So it wasn't just the player character that had that problem. Why are doggy elbows so bony? Right? And it's, it's almost like they studied acupuncture or something. Like, dogs know exactly where to lean on you to put maximum pressure from those elbows onto you. <laughs> it's so annoying. It's like, yeah, it's cute. I love that you want to snuggle with me and stuff, but I don't think you understand how much pain you're causing right now. Ah, I hate these little shades. I'm just going to ignore them. I also, because I had to go back and forth to Seafront like 10 times, I farmed that big dude a, a, a bunch more and he never dropped anything new for me besides occasionally broken machinery. So I just started ignoring him. Oh, the little shades are throwing orbs now. That's new. They're learning. Okay, I'm glad I went back to that. That might be something I start putting on crap immediately. Nope. Okay. Yeah. So, I forgot if I asked this earlier and no one said anything. How's your Sundays going? Okay, the last time I was here, it was filled with a bunch of people that didn't want to talk to me. So now that I have a quest to be here, hope something better happen. Yeah, there we go. Now someone wants to talk. Beware of... Beware the words. Okay. The words? 
What do you mean? Cool. Contagious well, I'm sorry to hear that, Rocket, words. but yeah, I hope you're, uh, I'm glad you're, you seem to be on the upswing of it. Those who dream. Those who dream? Hold a moment. There is a strange new sensation in my mind. This is a big old text block. Weiss's voice rose in a quizzical way. It is not quizzical. He's arguing with the narration? What's going on? The villager's body shuddered as he slowly opened his eyes. Perhaps we should start by asking this man. Uh, who are you? We heard something happened to this village, so we came to see if we could help. Mayor stare. It's like we're getting a look at the internal script. If you can speak to me. I must have caught you in my dream. I would say so. In your dream? The mayor explained. In the past weeks, the mysterious disease called the Death Dream had spread across the Forest of Myth. Those who caught it were cursed to fall asleep and live forever within the world of their own dreams. Yikes. The village mayor had determined the death dream was spread from person to person by spoken words, but before he could learn more, the disease took him as well. Whoa. Um. Now see here. Are you saying that we have been absorbed into your dream? Well... Yes, I think you have. In other words, we've caught the death dream? Before the mayor could confirm Gilius' suspicion, Weiss exploded with rage. Okay, sorry about that. Okay, so Weiss exploded with rage. Ridiculous, preposterous. Completely unfathomable on every conceivable hey, case. I don't even recall falling asleep. Fresh and clean as a whistle. That's Irish Spring. How you doing tonight, buddy? I've been having good hunts with Fix. That's just how the death dream works. Though polite, the mayor was clearly trying to bush brush aside the book's remarks. Exactly. My remarks are not to be brushed aside, fool. The mayor twisted his mouth and into, into an embarrassed grimace, then quickly changed the subject to who Gilius had seen and what they had discussed since coming to the village. Something there must have caused you to enter my dream. A certain conversation, a specific word, something. Doing well. Gilius and Weiss racked their brains but could find no easy solutions. They were simply too many words to consider, too much random chatter too many meaningless conversations. Grimoire Vice does not engage in meaningless conversations. Ooh, rolling the R's there. Grimoire! Rolling the G, rather. The mere suggestion that Weiss chose his words carelessly seemed to sting his pride. It does not seem to sting my pride, you bloated gas bag of a narrator. It has demolished it utterly. Irritated, Weiss looked skyward, as if searching for answers in the heavens. I was doing no such thing. Just leave me alone already. The anger created by his harsh words bled over to Gilius like a contagion. Wait, did someone just say contagion? Yes, oh, it's not voice acted anymore. Yes, I believe so, what of it? Well, that villager told us to watch out for contagious words, right? The mayor leaned forward with renewed interest, pushing a startled Weiss aside in the process. He must have said something, right? Asked the mayor. Some specific combination of words? What was it? It was about dreaming, or something that dreams, or... Oh, what the hell was it? A sheep? Cried Weiss suddenly, blurting out the first thing that popped into his head into this head? I do believe we have a typo. The others stared at him for a moment before slowly shaking their heads. After a few more minutes of it, of thought, Gilius' face suddenly lit up. I remember, he said, those who dream. That's what he said. I'm 
sure of it. At this, the mayor produced a thick sheaf of papers from his pocket. He flipped through them a few times before finally nodding his approval at Gilius. That sounds right, he said, as a, sh as a stray sheet of paper fluttered to the ground. My notes also mentioned something about that. I bet it was the last thing you heard before you fell asleep. The mayor shook his head, his worn pencil stub tracing lines across a lone piece of paper. For the last month, I've done nothing but study the disease we call the death dream, he said. I mean, I'm the mayor, right? It's my job to protect people from whatever comes along. But I never expected a couple of outsiders to start entering people's dreams. Hmm. The mayor paused, a grimace covering his face. I should probably be taking notes or something. Gilius really wishes these lines were voice acted. Weiss immediately fired back. I applaud the force of will it takes to research a disease in your dreams, he said. But perhaps we should bend your efforts to escaping this place instead of trying to understand it. The mayor's hand tightened around his pencil, snapping off the tip. I've tried to escape. From the very first moment I realized I was locked inside my own dream, I've been looking for a way out, but I don't think it exists. I mean, this is my dream, right? If there was an exit, I'd know about it. An operator would call me, or I'd get a kick or something. <laughs> That's true. He paused for a moment, his unfocused eye staring at nothing. My village was beautiful, he said to no one in particular, and it was filled with the most wonderful people you could ever hope to meet. But once this disease took hold, things changed. It's like someone took a sponge and soaked all the color out of, out of our lives. I just want us to be whole again. I want us to be free. And I won't stop trying until it happens. Gilius nodded in agreement. Huh? Wait a second. I didn't nod. Look, if we can be of any help, said Gilius, just ask. Now hold on. I did not just say that. Silence! cried Weiss. Grimoire looked from Gilius to the mayor and back again, his face filling with confidence. <laughs> the dream is volunteering us for a quest. Grimoire, Grimoire of Weiss's face is always confident. Thank you very much. Now see here, mayor. You told us that nothing can exist in this dream without your knowing of it. But yet you seemed surprised to see us when we first arrived, yes? The mayor slowly raised his head, realization dawning on his face. Oh my god, he said. You're right. You're right. I had no idea you were coming. The human imagination is a limitless engine, said Vice, and dreams are the fuel. If you can imagine an exit, then it must be so. With your permission, we shall search it out. Thank you, said the mayor. I don't know how I can repay you. Payment is not required. We are as eager as you to be done with this place. The mayor suddenly felt as he could breathe again. The mayor suddenly felt as if he could breathe again. He'd almost forgotten what it was like. Good luck, you two, he called at the departing forms of Gilius and Vice. We're all counting on you. As Gilius slowly faded into the misty forest, the mayor was suddenly struck by a sense of deja vu. I saw this man once before, he thought. But where? Gilius, is this entire quest done via text? Is this Zork? What the? Uh, <clears throat> sorry. Gilius's mood darkened as he trudged through the forest. Hours earlier, when the beauty of this place was still a new thing, he would have been confident he could get in, find the exit, and be home in time for dinner. A disgusting dinner prepared by Yona. But the deeper they went, the more the forest closed in around him. The mist made it difficult. I'm glad you're enjoying this, Rocket. The mist made it difficult to see more than a foot in any direction, and moss-covered rocks seemed determined to twist his ankle. More than once he'd been forced to steady himself on the rough bark of a tree, and his hands now left small trails of blood on everything he touched. I thought you had medicinal herbs, brother. Use them. <coughs> Additionally, Vice was proving to be a spectacularly poor traveling companion. 
Unhindered by either terrain or physical effort, he spent most of his time urging Gilius to pick up the pace and grumbling about their slow progress. Finally, after Weiss muttered something about legless turtles being more adept at navigating the environment, Gilius snapped. Okay, Weiss, cram it for a second, would you? You don't have to walk. <coughs> You know, I, maybe I should have done some vocal warm-ups before I started. Gilius leaned against a tree and tried to stretch the knots from his back. How can this stupid forest be so big, he muttered to himself. The moment the words tumbled from his mouth, a cacophony of insects sprang to life. Every imaginable form of buzz, click, and hiss roared out at a volume that rattled his teeth. Gilius slapped his hands over his ears and screamed to be heard. Vice! What's going on? Gilius could see Vice's mouth moving, but he might as well have been shouting in a tornado. An insect screamed, the forest howled. And then, just as Gilius's ears seemed ready to tear from his head and go running for cover, the sound diminished. Hesitantly, he removed the hand from his left ear and listened to the creatures of the, wo the, creatures of the woods. Zri? What? Chef! <laughs> yeah, I'm not doing that. As the insect symphony dimmed another decibel, Gilius began to detect patterns in the sound. This isn't random, he thought. It's not just white noise, it's something else. The insects weren't just calling out, they were asking a question. One with it is lacking, two with it is, is ideal, three with it is dangerous. What is it? By my pages, is this a riddle? I guess so. I mean, it feels sort of forced, but maybe it's the key to getting out of this place. Then I leave it to you to answer. One with it is lacking, two... I hate riddles like this. One with it is lacking. Three with it is dangerous. The answer is a seesaw. Something that's ideal with two people and dangerous with three and you can't use it with one. It's a seesaw. Weiss's mouth flew open, but before he could say anything, the world suddenly shifted. Okay, we've got more questions. When Gilius came to, he was once again surrounded by the sounds of insects. His cries of the insects were creating words, words he had heard somewhere before. Wait, this is the same thing. Did I get it wrong? You don't want two people to have a secret? How should I know? Uh, I mean, a seesaw was clearly... It, but it couldn't be wrong. Really? Why is two people with a secret ideal? To me, one person with a secret is ideal. Inwardly furious that Vice left the task to him, Gilius sighed and gave the only answer that made sense. It's a secret. Er, right? The sound of the insects stopped as suddenly as it began. That answer doesn't make any sense to me. The forest undergrowth parted before Gilius like a parting wave, a rippling wave, opening a new path. These forest arthropods are making a road for us, said Weiss with glee. Pleased at passing the test, somehow, Gilius moved on with new intensity, brute force style. The path offered his body relief from the undergrowth and gave greater cheer to his mind. As long as they were on a path, their journey had a purpose. I guess the forest has accepted us, huh? said Gilius after a little bit. Weiss spun around to face his companion. Do not mistake the will of the forest for some happy pet you can suddenly befriend. We have no idea where this path leads. As Vice finished speaking, the pair turned a corner and found themselves facing a clear forest spring. Smiling, Gilius did an irresponsible thing by picking up a small rock and skipping across the surface of the water. Good heavens, said Vice. Yeah. The best way to keep a secret is to not tell anybody about it. His surprise was understandable. Every time the rock struck the surface of the water, a musical note rang out. 
When the rock finally stopped moving and sank to the bottom of the spring, the ripples it left came, came together to form words. I enter through the window, but break no glass. When the night falls, I vanish. What am I? Sunlight! Absurdly easy, barked Vice. Now answer it! Gilius grit his teeth and tried not to reach out and strangle his companion. He's right, after all. This one is pretty easy. Sunlight! A plume of water suddenly burst from the spring. Sunlight filtered through the trees and reflected off the plume, creating a shimmering rainbow that spanned the entire horizon. In all my years, said Weiss softly, I have never seen such a sight. Perhaps I misunderstood the intentions of this place. Hey, look! cried Gilius, awaking Weiss from his daze. There's a house or something over there. Glancing in the direction of his friend's extended hand, Weiss saw a small cottage nestled among the trees. Dude. It's been like 15 minutes of this. <clears throat> Tally ho. Oh, I know. I know you're going to bring up Persona. I get it. I, I, you know, I fully admit you've been doing great with Persona. It's just a lot all at once. <laughs> This is weird, isn't it, Weiss? I mean, who would build a house all the way out here? Gilius walked over and pounded on the door. After a minute of solid banging, the door cracked open and a small man peered out. His body was cloaked from neck to toe in a large black cape, while his face was obscured by mist. Um, began Gilius, but before he could get any further, the cloaked man held a hand up and began speaking. I have four legs in the morning and two at noon, but in the night with three. What am I? You know, I was kind of proud that I got that sunlight one without getting the choices, but I think I'm going to have to get the choices on this one. Gilius tried to ask the cloaked man who he was and what he was doing there, but he simply repeated the question. I have if we wish to engage this man in conversation, said Vice, it seems we must answer his riddle. Yeah, I suppose, said Gilius. Well, at least it's an easy one. Shut up, game. I have four legs in the morning and two at noon, but in the night with three. What am I? A man, a demon, and a... How is it a person? Can you explain that to me, Dracodai? Oh, man. Oh, I'll pipe it down, Rocket. Oh, I. so it's not about a day cycle, it's about a life cycle. Got it, that makes sense, thank you. The mist dissolved from the cloaked figure as he spoke in a single word, correct. And with that, the man flung his garment aside, revealing his true identity. Y you're the mayor, cried Gilius. The small man slowly shook his head. I am not the mayor you know. Now listen to my words. Long ago, I saw a version of you that was not yourself. Uh, sorry? What's that mean? It will make sense in time. At present, I simply congratulate you on cracking the seal of the death dream. Now you must go to the person at the forest entrance. And with that, the man turned on his heel and slammed the door behind him. As Gilius watched, the mist seeped up from the ground and enveloped the cottage, erasing it from existence. When, <coughs> excuse me. When Gilius and Vice returned to the forest entrance, they found the mayor leaning against a tree. As soon as he caught sight of the duo, he sprang to his feet and scrambled over to them. Good gravy, he cried. You made it. You actually made it back. His left hand grasped Gilius's and pumped it so fiercely it threatened to dislodge from the socket, while his right seized Weiss by the cover and swung him through the air. Oh, I'm sure he appreciates that. Gah, by the heavens, stop shaking me, fool. 
Uh, we have not even told you if we were successful or not. The mayor, <clears throat> the mayor smiled broadly and shook his head. I'm just happy you're alive. I didn't think I'd ever see you again. Gilius withdrew himself from the mayor's eager handshake with a slight smile. We broke the Death Dream seal, he said. At least, I think we did. The mayor's face beamed as Gilius filled him in on the details. When the tale was done, the three of them laid down on the forest ground and fell asleep. Gilius cocked his head. Okay, hang on a second. This is crazy. Why would, why would we just lay down and go to sleep? Cease your endless prattle and go to sleep, fool. Fighting against the rules of this place is futility itself. Gilius and the mayor obediently reclined atop the grassy earth. Have you forgotten, continued Weiss, it is words that control the death dream, words that allow us to move from place to place. No matter how unnatural they seem, the words are absolute. Therefore, if the words tell us to sleep, then sleep we shall. And once we do, the story will continue. With that, the trio found their eyes growing heavy, their breath slowing. This is the first time, began the mayor, the first time I have felt tired since I was imprisoned here. His words were cut off by a long, loud, a loud, long yawn, and he remembered nothing more. They might have slept for an hour or a year. When they awoke, things had, had a slightly more real quality to them. The mist felt thicker, the leaves greener. It was clear they had awakened from their dream. Gilius shook the mayor's shoulder gently. Good news, he said. I think we made it. Oh, wow, said the mayor in an awed voice. We did. I'm back. He blinked once and then again, as if not quite believing the sight before him. You two have no idea how much this means. The death dream was spreading through our village and I wanted to... Well, I thought I could figure out how to stop it, but I guess that wasn't the case. I must have caught the disease and become trapped in my own dream. Was this not the conversation we were having before? The mayor started to stand and then collapsed back to the earth. He stared at his legs as if trying to remember how they worked, then glanced at Gilius and shrugged. Without a word, the young man reached down and pulled the mayor to his feet. Real, li <clears throat> Real life may take some getting used to, said the mayor, as a wry smile crossed his lips. You shall relearn in short order, I'm sure, said Vice. For now, you should return to your home and rest. No, said the mayor, swaying on unsteady feet. No, I can't. <laughs> Some of, the villagers are, uh, <clears throat> some of the villagers are still trapped in the death dream. I have to save them. The mayor slowly made his way to the divine tree in the center of the village and bowed his head and prayed silently. This is a holy tree, he explained when the prayer was finished. It's the guardian of our village's history and memories. Superstition will only make our mission harder, muttered Vice. We should not put our faith in the gods. The mayor shook his head. Not the gods, the words. Legend says that our tree is home to a powerful magic known as a sealed verse. Gilius and Vice could not contain their surprise. It seemed a goal had been found in the most unexpected of places. We knew there was a sealed verse here. I say, muttered Vice, this is certainly a stroke of luck. As the three of them said their goodbyes, Gilius mentioned the strange man who had given them the third riddle and the mysterious words he had left them with. I once saw a version of you that was not yourself, muttered the mayor. What in the world does that mean? Lost in thought, he stared into space for a long moment. You know, this is going to sound odd, but I had a feeling I'd seen you before, too. Gilius tried to keep a straight face and failed, but the mayor didn't seem to notice. Deja vu, right? Anyway, I figure it's just some kind of illusion created by the death dream. It probably doesn't mean anything. Gilius gave the mayor a nod and a smile, but inwardly his thoughts were racing. There's something wrong about the mayor and his words. And what exactly is going on here? That riddle would prove to be the most difficult one of all. Oh, thank you so much. 
Now I can finally return to a normal life. This is one of the most bizarre diseases I have ever encountered. Tell me about I know. it. That's why we have to help the other villagers, no matter what. I mean, I stumbled over a few words, but I felt like I did okay. Dark execution. Magical spikes from the ground to impale enemies. Let's see what that looks For like. A sealed verse. That didn't take much effort. Just a lot of reading. Yes, all a touch too easy, if you ask me. It's almost as if someone was guiding us to this village. Don't overthink advice. Hmm. Uh, to substitute for, for Dark Lance. Instead of Dark Blast, I use Dark Blast all the time. Well, I'm going to have to put some words on it. Magic power plus four, MP cost minus six. Okay. And we've got more quests. This person must be dreaming too. It would appear that way, yes. I'm a little reluctant to say yes. Can't say I'm very excited to go back there. That dream world sort of creeps me out. Perhaps you should spend less time complaining and more time getting on with the mission. Okay, Rocket. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it really is the same thing again? Okay, do you want me to read it or just space it slowly? Oh, I know what you're going to do with that. Combs of an infinite count. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to read it. Because I think you want that, like, stop complaining and get on with the mission thing. Um, I breathe air scented with death and resist the urge to laugh, for I know it will sound like the words of a madman. How long have I been in this fresh hell? My box, my prison, is tucked beneath a stairway in the long, unused catacombs of some infinite castle. Outside, I hear the sounds of a funeral dirge that plays without end. Light has no place here. Wind is a forgotten friend. I pray for death to come, but he forsakes me. Time passes, and eternity slips by in the single tick of a clock. Someone knocks on my prison. Anyone there? I hear an unfamiliar voice say. My savior. I claw at the door of my jail, embedding thick splinters under my ragged nails. I scream for help. I laugh. I sob. Surely this is a product of my addled mind. Surely it cannot be true. Help me, I cry. For the love of all the gods, help me. And possibly I hear the sound of a lock be To be fair, I did I did ask if you wanted me to narrate it or not, and nobody said anything. I'm 
<laughs> well, I can't advance this. I think I have to wait for him to actually proceed north. Wait, or do I have to actually... Ah. Uh, 20 gorgeous canopy beds resting atop a carpet, carpet of velvet. Okay, shape is great. If I'm scrolling too fast, let me know. Yikes. you guys think? East or South? We really are going Zork levels here. Well, I'm not asking for the right answer. I'm asking what you would... I'm thinking East myself. Let's go east. Uh, okay. Let's, let's go north. Oh my gosh. At the end of the path. Series of paintings. to the most perfect construction, okay? I have a feeling I'm about to die or something. Yeah. It may be that the directions don't matter because I wasn't really given any hints. It probably does matter. But that would be... Twenty-four separate paths I could have taken. Same delicate designs. Holy crap. Proceed south. Oh, we're back to this. Okay. So if we go back north, that's going to be the portraits again, right? Let's let's verify that. Yeah, okay. So north is not it. Wooden cast built with wine. Cast will be ruined by the flood regardless. It's probably blood. Yeah. Ugh. Ew. This is this is a nightmare, dude. East. Well, we're certainly uh oh. Oh no, I died. I died! Oh no. No, 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 no. I did save after the mayor, right? Okay. Okay. I can't I can't spend the entire stream doing those text adventures. They're interesting, but like 
they're not engaging in any way for a viewer. I'm I'm enjoying them though. So how was the village? Creepy. Oh, it was truly magnificent. There are no words, really. Huh. Neat. Let's get back to Popola. She'll probably want to know what's going on in there. All right, we're gonna try that dark lance thing right now. Oh. It impaled them. That was neat. No. No. I don't want to engage that boar right now. Thank you. We got a couple of groups of shades. Welcome to my party. Well, it's not like I... Uh, I held it between my lips. Yeah, I didn't let that recharge enough. I'm sure you asked me to equip this for a reason, but so far it seems inferior to what I had equipped. What I might actually do is um, put Dark Blast on this so I can have all three and just lose the ability to defend for a bit. Yeah. Because for the big shades and stuff, you can't block them. So what's, I get the whole perfect parry stuff and all that, but. Actually, I'm gonna swap that. Uh, this is gonna be dark execution and I'm gonna leave dark blast where it was because that's, that's the key combo I was used to. But evade I'm keeping. I use Evade a lot. To me, I feel like MP doesn't regenerate enough at my stage of the game to make anything other than Dark Blast the death dream certainly is a, a normal illness. use of my combat. Yeah, it was something all right. Even I, with my natural love for words, have no desire to visit that place ever again. You guys did well. Oh. Forgot to move my camera back. You've been making a lot of long trips lately. Are you sure you're not pushing yourself too hard? Hey, there's a world I'm need okay. saving. Or I a sister. I can't just sit around all day while Yona's sick, after all. If you say so. So, anything I can do for you? Well, I suppose there is one thing I could use a hand with. Have you heard about our plans to repair the canal? Nope. The work probably won't happen for a while, but once it's done, we can use the canal for trade and travel and all kinds of useful things. Unfortunately, however, we're a bit behind schedule at the moment. If you're willing to help out, I'd really appreciate it. No problem. What do you need? Great. I need you to get all the things. So the man I originally asked to help on this project hasn't shown up for work in a few days. I'm starting to get a little worried. So maybe you can head over to Seafront and check up on him? I'll mark the location of his house on your map. He always carries a red bag over his shoulder, so he should be easy enough to find. Got it. Seafront again. Woohoo! A canal, is it? Fascinating. If we had a ferry, we could put these days of endlessly running about behind us. Don't okay, you that does kind of lend anyway? credence to my theory that the canal is going to be used for fast wind, travel. Lad. It takes stamina to maintain this height. Oh, really? You could at least try to hide the utter dismay, you know.
Okay. And I'll fight this guy just for old time's sake. As I almost let him hit me. Oh, I thought I was going to be able to charge seven for a second. No, get around behind him. Thank you. Oh, he swung twice. Surprise! All right. Oh, hang on. Hold on. I will in just a second. If Kaine doesn't kill him, yeah. I mean, I, I didn't think Kaine was going to kill him in one hit like that, but I suppose I could have also just sent all those Dark Lances into the ground or something to avoid killing him. Oh, and I finally found the place that sells some of the maps I was missing. So now I think I have the map for every area, area I can currently get to. Hello. Um, hey, uh, are you the guy who's supposed to help repair the canal? Popola sent me to... Oh, God, it's over. My life is over. <sighs> Surely you must realize nothing good can come of being involved with this particular endeavor. Easy, Vice. Hey, so are you all right? What happened? It's my wife. She left home a week ago and hasn't come back. Okay. I'm so worried I can't even focus on my work. Oh, my sweet dumpling, where are you? Wow, that's terrible. Would you like us to help you look for her? Really? You do that for me? Anything to stop your whining, buddy. Sure. Er, but do you have any idea where we should start? Hmm. Well, she always used to enjoy drinking at the tavern with her friends. All right, and I guess we'll start with them. Thank you. This means the world to me. Oh, and by the way, my wife always carries a red bag, just like mine. If you mention that, it might ring some bells. I've met Do they some not know her name? In my day, but none who felt the need to wander about flaunting matching luggage. <laughs> you need to get with the times. Coordinated outfits are all the rage. Plus, these bags are special. We bought them for our anniversary. Ooh, you really know how to mix it up, don't you? But now my sweet dumpling is gone. <laughs> okay, all right, okay, enough of that. Just stay calm. We'll go look for her, all right? You sit tight. Uh, well, let me jump in the well. I'm willing to bet that man knows more about his wife absconding than he's letting on. Hey there, I'm a... Looking for a, a woman little bit. carrying a red bag. Are you now? Interesting. Did something happen to her? She hasn't been home and her husband's worried. Do you know anything about where she might be? <laughs> Trouble in paradise, is it? Oh, those two never change. Anyway, the short answer is no. She hasn't been around here either. Though come to think of it, she always got on well with the woman over at the tackle shop. Maybe you should try her. No, it's going to be one of these quests. I'll do that. Thanks. Hey, what's the rush? You've got a cute face. Why not sit here and join me for a round or three? You know, you're a little too carefree in the in the face of a potential missing persons case. So I, I'm a, I'm gonna just go. Uh, sorry, ma'am, but I'm not old enough to drink. Um. Yeah, there was this. Uh, in Facade, there was a girl who went missing. And you had to question a bunch of people in the town to kind of find where she was. And, of course, getting around that town is irritating. But you eventually find, on one of the bottom levels, this blood stain. The boyfriend uh, killed her, hid her body. You go to find the body, and it's not there. And the girl turns out to still be alive with her parents. 
and she has no idea that the boyfriend thought he killed her and hid her body. So she's just like, ugh, whatever, and he's like, oh my gosh. Weird little storylines. Hey there. Do you know a woman with a red so, bag by any So chance? whenever I start hearing this, oh, ask so-and-so, I'm like starting to get flashbacks. Red bag? Oh, sure. Although now that I think about it, I haven't seen her in a while. Go ask so-and-so. Last time she came around, she mentioned something about leaving town. But I figured it was just idle talk. Leaving town, huh? All right, thanks for your time. If she has truly left this charming hamlet, finding her may prove most difficult indeed. I mean, I, just I can't really criticize her for a decision anything. based on her choice of husband. And you know what else I kind of feel a little guilty about? I don't need venison. But there are two deer right around the corner that I kill every time I pass them. Because, oh, they're not there. That's weird. Mm, something about that shade seems rather. Hey, oh, look at no. this. It is identical to the red satchel carried by the man who sent us on this mad quest. Perhaps it belongs to his spouse. That's bad news. Oh, no. Do you think the shades got her? I fear it likely, lad. I sense no other activity in the immediate vicinity. So that's why the deer weren't we were there. Late. But I kill those deer like oh, pretty terrible. much every time I pass what them. Are we... However difficult it may be, we've no choice but to tell the man the truth. Well, at least that was a fast quest. So this is the second time that I've killed a shade that possessed something another NPC was supposed to have. And I don't think the shade killed them. I think they turned into the shade. I think that's what happens when the Black Scrawl, like, finishes. Although I don't know. The Lighthouse Lady had the Black Scrawl, and she just died. She didn't turn into a shade. Probably wrong. Hey, Captain Klingy, I got bad news. Hey, did you find my sweet dumpling? We didn't, but we got this off a of shade. Oh no, this, this is hers. So our fears were correct. Oh God, how could this happen to her? <laughs> this is all my fault. Why is this all his fault? Ugh. Fine. If I may, my good man, why did your wife leave home in the first place? It's because... Because I... I think we should give him some time to himself, Vice. about oh, oh you found my bag thank you so much i can't believe i went and dropped it like that <laughs> this is such a relief okay seriously what's going on five minutes later five minutes so, later you found a shade with my bag and assumed i'd been attacked and killed Baby, I was only 30 minutes away. Like, I've only been gone for 30 minutes. I'm just glad you're safe, Dumpling. But I'm also so sorry. This is all my fault. Oh, if I didn't eat that apple you were saving. Oh, God, I'm such an idiot. I see. Listen, I promise I'll never eat anything of yours again. You just promise never to run away from home again, okay? Run away? Have you lost your mind? I just went to visit my parents. Huh? <gasps> I told you about this. Going to see my family, gone for a week. <laughs> Remember? 
Ugh, are you serious right now? Why don't you ever listen to me? Uh-oh. Now we're getting into the juicy bit. Um, lad, my brilliant intuition suggests no, 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 no. Hasty retreat from it's these starting to get good. Speed. Stick around and listen. I can't believe you didn't listen to me, and you ate my apple. Ugh, you are the absolute worst. You can't save an apple for a week. What? What? Oh, like you're some perfect angel. You didn't even care enough about our anniversary to hang on to your bag. Whoa. He did a 180 real quick. You, kid, I'm right about this, yeah? If anyone's wrong here, it's my wife, right? Uh, gotta go Hitler stealing my car. Wait, you're asking me? Yeah. I'm Well, an anniversary gift is an important thing. You probably should have taken better care it's of it. It's a little more important than an apple. Oh, so I'm the bad guy now. Hmm? See, this is the problem. You never get in the middle of a couple in the middle of an argument. Because no matter what you say, it's wrong. Like, you become their common enemy. Is this fun for you two? Do you like ganging up on a poor, innocent woman? Ooh, you disgust me. What? No, that's not what I hey, meant. I'm not complaining. It's always interesting. Besides, I would never do this in real life. Come after me for an apple when you threw away my entire stamp collection. Ha! You're damn right I did, and I'd do it again. You are nothing but a hoarding slob. You there? My husband's in the wrong here, isn't he? Uh, pardon, but madam, I. Both of them. Oh, enough. The both of you are at fault. Now apologize to one another and end this ridiculous display. Good talk for a floating magazine. <laughs> I see you finally agree on something. An hour! even understand how frustrating this is you colossal oaf this is exactly what i hate about you fine hate me i'll still sleep like a baby knowing i'm not an unreasonable hag like you vice what do i do you turn on your heel and walk away as fast as your legs can carry you my good lad that's it i have had enough instead of belittling me why don't you get a proper job everyone in the neighborhood treats me like dirt and it's all because of my unemployed slob of a husband uh, actually i have a job now wait you what you're kidding why didn't you tell me <laughs> that's great boy i think we got a couple of manic depressants here well, I sort of wanted it to be a surprise. Oh, you big silly Billy. Well, this calls for a celebration. Come on, I'm going to bake you a nice apple pie. You're welcome. I have no idea what just transpired, but it has utterly exhausted me. I found it incredibly amusing. Well, looks like they made up, so all's well that ends well? In the course of all that madness, I have forgotten why we even came here in the first place. Oh, heck, the canal. We need to ask him That's about the, the canal. That's the job. I can't thank you enough for all your help. Uh, sure. But listen, we need to talk to you about the canal. Oh, right. That's why you came here in the first place, huh? Well, now that my love life is rolling in clover again, I'd be more than happy to get going on the canal work. Okay. And that was exhausting. Tell me about it. Gilead. Anyway, Marriage let's counselor. go give Popola an update. The 
couple with the red bags were a strange pair indeed. It oh, boggles yeah. the mind to think their relationship can persist Did the screen despite just such shake? intense squabbling. Well, they looked pretty happy in the end. These two, least. dear. Maybe the secret to living a happy life is sharing your feelings, even when they're sort of mean and weird. Oh. If you adopt such a strategy, I may leave for groceries one day and never return. Nope. I'm not gonna kill him this time. I suck. I, I suck so hard. You have such a way with words sometimes, Rocket. Evening, Gray! Enchantment? Uh, whatever. Baldy, pass me a sensor right. bean. What, do you think I'm just giving these away? Give me a moment to take an AFK, and not. then I'll take the bean. I'll be right back. Okay, I am back. Here's your jalapeno bean. Sorry for the longer AFK. Ari won something. Yeah, I know that clip came up. Not falling for it again. Nice try, Gree. And how are you tonight? Oh, Popola. I don't know why I was heading back to the cottage. Yona doesn't have anything for me right now. I think when I finally put this game to bed, and it'll be a while because this game's got like five endings, five main endings or something, but um, I think when I finish this, I'm going to wind up replaying Automata offline. Goodness, it sounds like the canal repairman had quite the problem on Sorry his to hands. hear that. I'm glad everything turned out all right. Thank you so much for your help. Allegra is your friend. Don't mention it. I'm Hashtag looking forward not a to doctor. seeing how the canal turns out. If you need anything else from us, just say the word. Hey, wait. Huh? I almost forgot. Yona is looking for you. Huh? She's always she looking for me. She said she needed something from you. Time to go play Big Brother for a bit, huh? I guess so. Thanks, Popola. What interests me, like... They still have not resolved the hook from the intro. The, the intro moment of the game where we're in that, like, snow snowy cityscape or whatever, and it looks like we met Weiss for the first time, like, that has never been addressed or resolved or anything. I almost forgot I had this disease. Can maybe even forget about it, too, and come back home. A yoink. I've got I've got a hundred thousand gold, but I'll always take a little more. Yay! You're back. Popola said you needed something. Hmm. Yeah, a favor actually. What is it? Um. I can't help if you don't tell me, sis. Okay, I'm gonna say. Ready? I'm ready, Yona. I need you to help my friend. Your friend? Yep, I have a friend. And we've been writing each other letters. Seriously? A pen pal? How delightful. Just don't use me to mail your letters. So who is this friend? Um, well, he's kind of... He? It's a guy? Uh-oh, protective big brother. Yes, and he's sick and in a whole lot of trouble. And I know that you and Vicey are the only ones... Vicey, who he's not gonna like that. Vicey? There it is. Tell me about this guy. He lives in this really big house down south, and he's super nice, and he's my friend. Oh, now I'll be able to get in the mansion, huh? So you have to help him, please. Yona, listen. Please. That place with the spiders in front of it, I could never get into. Great. Now what do I do? Fine. I'll see what I can do. Yay! Thank you! You're welcome. Great. Yona's got a boyfriend. I wait, dude. There's something amiss, lad. Your voice is trembling. No, it isn't. Shut up. No. uh Okay, 
we've got the save, perfect. We still haven't hit that point of no return yet, but... Yeah, there's that mansion with the spiders in front of it, and the world turns almost grayscale when you get near it, but you could never go inside of it. So now I'll now it looks like I'll be able to, which will be interesting. Oh, we've got little shades now too. Alright. I am gonna try to impale him this time just to see what happens. How can these creatures let us dispatch them without complaint? And what would make them appear in this area in the first place? This is hardly what one would call especially It didn't work. Around. Burn rate six percent. Don't care. Alright, I'm getting out of here. I could deal with this, but nah. Oh, the shades are getting worse, though. Oh, does it? Starting to pound those stupid herbs like candy. I need to be careful with that guy. Oh, the deer are gone. I guess it's a good thing I've been farming venison like there's no tomorrow. If it keeps up like this, there aren't going to be any animals around anymore. But then where are people going to get their food? when those spiders used to be actually hard to kill. Cleared the grounds, have you? We have been waiting for you, sirs. Oh. Please, right this way. Welcome to Wayne Manor. Oh, that's the door I can interact with. Okay. Whoa. Kaine and I are the only things in this room that are... And the people are the only things that are not grayscale. Luigi's Mansion. Mario! Please, wait here. Waiting's a bitch. Just let me know if any shades show up, okay? You gonna take a nap? Paint me like one of your French girls. I can't run here, but I can move around at a light, derpy-looking jog. This is a rather modern-looking place. I do not like this one bit. Uh, What's the matter, Vice? Scared? It's got a very Victorian look to it. Darkness. Huh. Uh, perhaps we should head back, yes? 
<sighs> what is making him nervous? Moon. Darkness and moon. So is there also a sun and light one? Oh, so maybe we do have to actually just head back now that we've explored what we can in the manor. Alright, so that's the kitchen. Here's the dining room. Hey, where'd Kaine go? I knew this was a terrible idea. Haunted manners and the like. Oh, why does no one ever listen to me? I've never played a Luigi's Mansion game. I, I watched Dustin play some of Luigi's Mansion 3. It looked fun. Fun little puzzle game. Do I have to leave? Or should I go back down the hallway? It feels like going back down the hallway is the right answer. Gooigi. Oh, Gooigi. Yes. Every time it switches perspectives, it changes the direction he's running. It's annoying. Yeah. Where'd that come from? Gooigi? I didn't see that. That's not... Changed. Yeah. They've all changed. Alright, this is officially starting to creep me out. Oh, it looks like it's in pain. It's kind of scary. Uh, yes, uh, come now. Brave faces. Uh, onward and upward, eh? Stiff up a lip and all that. Crack on. Oh, so is he gonna say that? Okay, he'll say that with all of them, I guess. You just now learned how to do that thing you've been doing for almost the entire game. Aha! That's the moon key. One of the things I do appreciate about this, uh, like, I don't like how it changes where you're moving in the scenes, but it does give you the feeling like you're being watched. Um, Shades! What foul hole did they call fun? It's like you're being watched by a security camera or ghostly entity or something. It gives you kind of like a, a creepy feeling. figured that out from my footsteps? It's not hard, once you know how. Then I suppose I should tell you about my friend Vice. I... I only heard one set of footsteps. Do you mean to tell me that 9S and 2B were only operating on hearing that whole time? I thought they had some other form of sensory perception. Um... 
Grimoire Vice does not strut about like a common land mammal. But enough of this introductory chatter. I mean, Let I don't think your tale. I don't think I want to. Dr I'm. I feel like I'm drawing a conclusion here, and I need to back myself away from that. But to me, that the the uh, bandana across the eyes has always meant android to me. My name is Emil. I'm the master of this manor. So you're the one who sent the letters? Letters? What are you talking about? Of course you don't know. Such a thing would be far too simple. No! Stay back! Huh? I'm sorry. It's my eyes. Ah, Anything I okay. look at gets turned to stone. So maybe not. Which makes me feel better that I kind of backed away from that conclusion. That's why I live with this blindfold. Okay, so we got a Medusa here. What a remarkable skill. I've never heard of such a thing. No. The only names I've seen in this game that I recognize from Automata are Devil and Popola. Anyway, I suppose my butler might know more about the letters but you received. I will completely put it within the realm of possibility that I have forgotten somebody. This key here can unlock any door in the manor. So if you'd like my assistance... No, please. Don't trouble yourself. No, 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 no. Take his master key. Take his oh, master key. right. Sure. Well, the butler's quarters are at the far end of the manor. Let me at least give you a map. It's Thank a big place, you. and I don't want you to get lost. Aren't you an interesting character? The butler's Vice. What should we do about Kaine? Leave her. That woman is capable enough on her own. Really? Jeez. Is that what helped her in that last little dungeon? Side. That's funny. Alright, this is where the star key was. Yep. What's that? A butler. Or at least a remarkable likeness of one. I knew this was a trap. Curse my brilliant intuition. This entire place is weird. Shades. Friggin' spiders. I'm still gonna explore every friggin' room. Okay, turn it off. Turn it off. Tur okay, 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 okay. Ooh, the light key. Ow. See, this game is one of those ones where, like, it seems like a perfectly innocent RPG. And then it has some Sixth Sense style twist or a series of them and everything changes. I'm not saying that that's one of them, like that sink pouring blood thing, but like sooner or later, Replicant's going to hit me in the gut. Somehow, some way, I know it's coming, I just don't know how. And it's why I love these games. Whoa. Is that another one? Hmm. <laughs> it moves. What's going on here? An excellent question, sir. What is this? Oh, this is my butler. He helps me out around the manor. He's a good man at heart, but a bit inflexible. 
Almost like a statue. Or a machine of some kind. Yes, and I do apologize for that, Master Emil. <laughs> I doubt he's even human. We're here because my sister received some letters from this manor. Mm, yes, I wrote those letters. Please forgive my impertinence. As you may know, Master Emil, deeply pained by his eyes, has shut himself away from the world. So you thought to find him a companion? He suffers greatly behind that blindfold, and I feel and it is that's my where duty to help gone. however I can. I heard tale of the exploits of an emerging hero, and so I sent a letter to you under Master Emil's name. But I received a response from one Miss Yona instead. Wait, so Yona's pen pal is you? You just put that together? It is, sir. My letters merely requested that you come to the manor. I meant no ill intent. I believe Yona saw the exchange somewhat differently. Yeah, sounds like she misunderstood the situation. Regardless, I am quite pleased to see you here. Long have I dreamed of the day we might be able to do something about Master Emil's eyes. Dude, I got my own problem. I see. Yes, well, I am afraid we... At least this lad beside me is neither hero nor physician, so... He exempted himself us. because of the hero thing, I think. Please, we're so close. The cure for Master Emil's condition is located in this very manner. There's another door that... Oh, there's a darkness key I haven't found. Then why don't you just go get it? Alas, the location of the cure has become a den for those abominable shades. And I lack the skill to combat them. I beg of you... Defeat the Shades, and restore Master Emil's sight. You know this is an impossible task. Why would you ask it of our guests? Dude. Well, we've no more time to waste, so... <laughs> Vice wants out so bad. It's okay. We'll do it. See here, lad. This is no time to play the hero. People need to look out for each other, Vice. Plus, we have to find Kaine anyway. A thousand thank yous. I owe you a debt that can never be repaid. I'm really sorry for all the trouble. My butler cares so much for me, but for him to make such outlandish requests... Um... Hold on. But hey, at least I can petrify your enemies. That's gotta be some help, right? can't let you do this on your own. A meal so can just right teleport around? Me. Maybe my eyes can be useful for once. All right. Things are officially starting to get twisty. Oh, so that's just the game letting the NPCs not get too far away from you. Okay, that that I'm okay with. That thing didn't have wings before, or horns quite so defined. Pictures are getting worse. Petrify is pretty useful. What's that? I mean, if there's a defense drop I can't pick up, I might as well burn one. What's that? The Blade of Treachery. What is that? Cool. Well, yeah, I knew it was another weapon. But what? Like, what a constrictive view. Alright, that's the study. And 
that's a save point. So let's go see what's in this other room first, which I believe is the indicator for an elevator. Nope. I just very nearly attacked a meal. There's nothing in this room to interact with. It's pretty, though. I kind of wish they had decorated... What? Ooh, that item drop rate. That's one I might want to put on right pretty quickly. Onto uh, Dark Glass. So that wasn't an elevator, it was just a trap room. Perfect. Here we go. This is it. We should find the cure somewhere nearby. Uh, bah, I do not like anything about this place. Hey, Emil, I... Wait. Oh, this is why Vice wanted to leave. <sighs> this looks kind of like you, Vice. Oh, aren't we clever? As if any mere tome could compare to the wonderment that is grimoire vice. Petrification is a fearsome power indeed. There's no end to this. Pages of this infernal book are sharp as knives. Guess you never learned that trick, huh? Where you been? Mine. And where have you been? Hmm? Lost. Where have you been? Getting stomped by this thing. Help! This uh. foe's strength is beyond measure. What do we do? I am an arcane text, not some manual of combat. Okay. You are supposed to deal with such matters. You guys run! I had a oh, feeling I'd be able to break through a shield eventually. Who's this kid? That's Emil. He's the one who runs this. Fuck, this book is a real asshole. Ah, uh, I tried to dodge it before it rolled at me. He's too busy vomiting filth disguised as language. You guys go. This is my fight. I can't ask you to die for me. My, aren't we the bold one? And yet I fear that would be a foolish course of action at this juncture. And besides, we'd never let you do that. Would you all please just shut the uh. hell up? What? Never roll directly just away from it. You bastards want to have a goddamn civilized discussion on the merits of bravery and sacrifice. We can do it later. As soon as I get absorbed into the conversation, us? I forget to dodge. Sunk to motivational speeches from a woman in her undergarments. I guess so. Now.
Vice, this is it. It's more angelic script. Research report on petrification. Well, well. Dark whirlwind. Magical rotating blades. That sounds cool. Oh no. This passage is written in some kind of code. We went through all this trouble to find it. And now... Oh look, Jeeves is back. Please allow me to handle this, Master Emil. Wait, he can read it? I shall put all of my efforts into deconstructing Have a good lurk, Gree. No matter how long it takes, I will not fail. Sebastian. Ah, so the servant has a name after all. Emil, listen to me. What is it, Kaine? Your eyes are not a sin. Don't ever be ashamed of them. They're a vital part of you. Do you understand? Why did she look at me when, when she said that? that? My arm is alive. And there's a reason for your eyes, too. Kaine. But listen, if this shade should ever <sighs> I mean, possibly. But she she looked o she no. looked over at me when I start when she started talking about revenge, and I'm like, wait, is she looking to get revenge on me? Kaine, I promise I'll never give up, Kaine. But you can't give up either. Well, we're off. All right. Hey, so Yona's sick, and she doesn't get out much. Do you think you might be able to send her more letters when you have the time? I would be delighted, sir. Goodbye, everyone. Thanks for everything. Take care, Emil. I hope your eyes get better soon. Mm. I saw you exchange some words with that Emil lad earlier. Yes. Hopefully it was nothing inappropriate for a young man of his age. Speak the truth, Buzzy. Look. Shut up. Yeah, calm down, Vice. We've got our hands on all the sealed verses now. All that remains is to find this grimoire noir. Then we can finally save Yona. Oh. I see. I feel like we're about to, we're getting kind of closeish to to uh, ending A, or what I assume to be ending A. One of the things I found to be particularly interesting was uh, looking up near Automata's, like, what, 26 different endings? Um, several of which are just joke endings and that kind of thing. Hang on. So, like, several of them are joke endings. 
but the main endings were A through E, I believe. Um, the first ending I got was uh, ending W, which is if you die in the tutorial. And it's not so much an ending, but they take the credits and scroll it through in like two seconds. The entire and like ending song at all is just like, and then just near automata. Hilarious. And it's stuff like that that really makes me, that made me appreciate going through and finding out after I'd finished streaming the game what all the other endings were. I look forward to doing that again with Replicant. Oh, and I died in the tutorial like three or four times. It was pissing me off, and there was no way to save. It won't be much longer. That tutorial mission was like an hour I long. I finally collected all of the sealed verses. Now, I just need to find Grimoire Noir. It sounds dangerous. Will you be okay? <laughs> of course I will. Is this gonna make me better? Is my cough going to go away? Definitely. Uh, not likely. Yona? You... You're... You're not gonna hate me because of this, are you? What are you talking about? It's just... I... I don't want you to hate me because of this terrible disease. Yona, I could never hate you. <sighs> I'm going to go see if Popola has more medicine. You know, I've just had a horrible recollection thinking about Automata. I recall there was a moment. Yona's looking weaker and weaker every day. Yes, but do not where as 9s you're scrolling through the archives of Yorha, I believe. And you start learning about some kind of infection known as Gestalt. Dracodi informed me at the time that this was about the previous or the main uh, near Gestalt, which is Near and Near Gestalt were kind of two games that were hand, as I understand it, they were pretty much the same game told from two different perspectives. Um, but it's this game. And from what I recall, they never found a cure for Gestalt, and that's what eliminated mankind. That worries me. Not lose heart. You are the girl's last remaining hope. I'm hoping my recollection is incorrect. I really want to. After I finish, I really want to play Near Automata again. I'm. I'm. I legit. As I was going through it offline today, I had to like hold myself back to like, no, finish Replicant first, finish Replicant first all the way first, and then you can play Automata. Popola, Yona's cough is getting worse. Oh, that's not good. Any chance you could give me some more medicine? Please? The thing is, I actually just ran out. How convenient. I hate to ask this, but can you get me some Vapor Moss? You'll find it growing near the southern gate. Okay. Oh, Vapor Moss, huh? I'll be right back. Give me just one minute. I'll be right back. Yeah, I re one of the things I looked up, uh, I believe Kotaku had a, a review of Replicant when it came out, and they said that they had basically just gotten rid of the older man character, which they were happy about. And I was like, okay. Thank you for the, uh, for the context, though. Appreciate that. I'm going to save... Because I feel like something's about to happen. 
This is too innocuous of a quest. And I, I definitely do want to have a save so I can go back and help those other two dream world people uh, offline. I'm, I don't want it. I don't want to turn this into like Zork the narrated version. And I know that one of them was forced, but. Vapor Moss. Emil. What are you doing here? Emil. What happened? What is it? What happened? Hurry. Emil! He doesn't seem to be sick. I think it's just fatigue. I can't imagine how hard it must have been to run all this way without sight. Are you all right, Emil? Hey, just take it Whoops. easy, okay? I think he said I can just see it. The air. It's vibrating. I can feel it behind my eyes. Hey, Firm. So much pressure. Oh, God, there's so many of them. It's okay, man. You're just becoming Daredevil. Nothing wrong with that. You're getting ready to fight crime, kid. Get out. Get out of the village. The shades are coming. Okay, that's not good. Huh? I knew something was about to happen. Hmm. Sounds like they're already here. Come on, let's go. Foreign transmission, most likely mechanism. Ah! Damn it! It's not gonna hold! I recognize this song too. Where? The hell's going on? No time. Get everyone into the library. And please, make sure Yona's safe. Don't worry. I'll grab her. Just don't get yourself killed, all right? I won't. Now go, Devola. Hurry! We have to stop them before they destroy the village! Dispatch these smaller ones as fast as you can. I'll kill every last one of you! You whelps are hardly worthy of our steel. Come on. Bring everything you got! Hurry! Hurry! Get the wounded to the library! Oh, I know you. Okay. The Knave of Hearts has arrived. It took me three fights of this guy in Final Fantasy XIV before I felt like I really understood his mechanics. Dear Let's see how God, similar he is. No, no. But we gotta take nope, he's different. The arms are vulnerable when it attacks. Come on. It's gonna breathe at me or something, isn't it? Ah. You need to get closer and make him attack. Mega head. Punch! <laughs> yeah.
Yes, you did. Wait, no, you... That's right, you did. That was a creepy-looking fight. I also did not want to know why okay. his tongue was so That's long. Not good. The generating shade. How will we even know if our attacks are working? We'll just have to keep hitting it until we find out. That did something. We can climb up from here. At least I've got a place where I can melee it now. Okay. You're going. Oh like crap, I drowned. In the middle of our. In the middle of saving the village, the player killed himself. Why do you keep leaping into bodies of water? Shut up, Vice. It, it's not me. It's almost like my body just. And I can't tolerate you guys being around. about to pound again, I think. Nope. Vomiting out more of those gross orbs like the Cloverfield monster. isn't working. So what do we do? You've been this whole time. Oh, that's right. She you doesn't come into the village. Huh? Bring it. Keep hitting it. At some point, it's got to start working. Is she trying to raise our morale, or is she honestly that insane? Either one works for me. Let's go. It's heading toward the library. No, that's where Yona is. You're almost there. Keep pushing. You're gonna die today, shithog. Shithog, oh, come now. That's not even a real word. <laughs> come on. Open so up. You've learned how to swing that thing. Say ah. I'm glad you noticed. That's my last heal. Come on. Come on. Come on, keep pushing it. You stubborn son of a bitch. Okay, that was cool. Don't tell me you, you okay. Yeah. 
stay down. Are you serious? Okay. Shades in the library. Jonah! Emil, are you okay? I can't keep fighting like this. I have to. There's no other choice. Otherwise, why did I even come here? Get out of here, Emil! No! I won't abandon these people now. You told me once that my eyes had value. And that I shouldn't be ashamed of them. I like how they're just having this like conversation in the middle of all this. So I won't just sit around and let you fight while I stay behind. Emil. Just don't die on me. I won't, Kaine. Yay, I'm Let's getting my healing it. stuff back. <laughs> I like it. As we immediately look at the door. <laughs> what? Gross. A meal. Is there no way to kill this infernal thing? No. Tentacles first. Oh, I thought it was about to whip a tentacle at me or something. All right, open up, big boy. I thought it was about to grab the chandelier. Yeah, it's like a shade version of me. And they're kneeling to it. Is that the leader of these creatures? Finally. 
Where am I? It's been a long time. That's Grimoire Norse. Who are you? What is this place? I am Grimoire Noir. I am you. What? What? Do you not remember Grimoire Vice? We too serve a higher purpose. Enough lies. Stay back. Why do you try to suppress the memory? Do you fear hurting someone close to you? Dude, don't be a close talker. Stay back. Preposterous. Your denial is preposterous. We are mere books created to serve the Shadow Lord. You have no right to forsake him. <laughs> the Shadow Lord? Do you remember our ultimate goal? Our ultimate goal? White and black shall fuse to one and set free shades to the world. Fuse? Us? No, I cannot. I will not. I will never. Your chance encounter with this book. I love how they emote with the book. Your collection of the sealed verses. It was all set in motion by the Shadow Lord himself. No. Lies. The time has come for us to create a new and perfect world. That dude's got a smooth voice. We shall become as one, you and I. Become one. Vice, you dumbass! Cry me. Start making sense, you rotten book, or you're gonna be sorry. Maybe I'll rip your pages uh, out one by one. Whatever. Or maybe I'll All put you in a goddamn furnace. Being. How can Everything someone with such a big smart brain get hypnotized like a little bitch, huh? Oh, Shadow Come Lord, on. I love you, Shadow Lord. Come over here and give Vice a big sloppy kiss, Shadow Lord. Now pull your head out of your goddamn ass and start fucking helping us. <sighs> Language. I am one with the Shadow. Huh? Bitch. We grimoires exist to create in this world a new and just Have an paradise. Arrow. We must unite. The world demands it. Paradise. Yes, and we are so close to realizing it. Please don't go, Vice. Who's there? It's okay. I'll understand. I'll understand if you forget us. But... Promise, I won't forget you. I'll remember you. No matter what. I'll keep the memory of Grimoire Vice alive hey, forever. Da hey, Dave. And that's... That's not all I'll do. You hear me? Chase you to the end of time, and I'll bring you back to us. So, please, please, please come back. Ooh, Dad, that just cleared my sinuses. It. If we don't do something, that black book will absorb vice. <coughs> black, wise, black, wise. Yes, now we shall unite in common purpose. Then the world can finally bear witness to our true power. Boys! Boys! Um... Uh, what?
For the last time, my name is Grimoire Vice, and it is not to be abbreviated. Oh, good. He resisted. V Vice! Vice! Good to see you, Kaine. Although I don't think anyone has ever accused me of being a little bitch before. <laughs> and you, we meet again. Vice, you okay? I believe I could ask you the same question right now. Impossible. We must unite. We must become as one. I don't like you, and I want nothing to do with you. Besides, I have my companions. You're back. Of course, they're weak, and they whine when I leave. Vice. It's almost too much trouble, but they are my you know friends. We're... I shall fight by their side, now and forever. Vice. Thanks. Still threats. <clears throat> What? Damn you. Our true memories are still there. How dare you ignore them? Perhaps you should have scribbled them in my margins. Hmm? Let us start by dispatching the nearby distractions. <laughs> I can't use my magic. If I can't use my spells, I need to put this fin back. I'll get them back, Vice. And you are the last one left. Holy crap. Yeah, this is a long storyline fight. That's how I thought it worked. Damn. This library isn't gonna hold for long. We must finish this quickly. You got it. Uh, that's a lot of blood. No. Stand in time. Get up! No! If my sister. So is that thing not in the in the basement? Not fighting anymore. No matter how things unfold, it all returns to us. All of it. Yona! 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 Are you okay? Of course 
Everything's not okay. Are you serious? The fight's over. And I think we lost. We? Sorry, guys. I think this is it. For me, too. What? Kind I know! Oh, quit crying. Look, before I go, we need to take care of this guy. Emil? Y yeah I want you to... <laughs> Why is she you dying? Petrify me. You can use me to keep this thing locked away down there. Ah, the Palam and Porum solution. No! I can't! Kaine! Stop! He's right! It's suicide! You can't do it! Your powers exist to protect others, right? Kaine! Just do it, Emil. But... If you don't, it's gonna break down this fucking door! I... I don't know what to do! What a choice that is. Thank you for the resub, Dracodai. Do nothing and be annihilated. That's definitely an ending, but I'm not interested in exploring it. I've got to wrap this up. The, the ladder. No more crying, okay? His gaze petrifies people. Grow strong. <laughs> Never lose hope. Vice. Spare me the goodbye, hussy. I imagine it will take more than this to kill you. <laughs> I doubt it. You're on the edge of death, too. Stop looking at things. He, like, petrifies the sun and the world dies. Unrealistic. That's where you call BS. Five years. Yeah, it really is, Dave. I'm sorry. I'm going to refund your, your uh, channel points for the Valk, but I'm not going to be able to redeem it. Uh, what? Don't let your guard down. Cool. I'm adult Link now. 
I guess that is a tad obvious. Forgot I didn't have dark ex execution on. Oh, evidently I do. Whoops. Finally, this is the level of difficulty I've been waiting for. I've actually kind of thought the game's been a little too easy at times. The only time it's gotten, like, moderately interesting from a combat perspective is during a boss fight. Oh, I am down with this all the way. Another poor victim. Damn it. When will this stop? Alright. We've got to stop. Oh, the quest log? No uncompletable quests. Is that what you were looking for? Okay. Cool. Uh, yeah, I've got to call it a night.